my goodness me, my goodness me. That is just so difficult. Well, there Hello. we are. Welcome to Anderson's TV. Hello, I'm um, Pete. Uh, I'm oh. the captain. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so we have a very special guest coming down on June the 1st uh, to do uh, a masterclass with us called Eric Gales. Eric Gales! And he inspired us <laughs> to take a look at why it is that some left-handed guitar players who have obviously learned to play by taking a right-handed guitar. So see right-handed guitar, close up please. <laughs> right-handed guitar. Of course, if I just flip it round so that I can play left-handed, one of the things that Eric Gales has learned to play and people like Doyle Bramwell have done the same is they've not restrung the guitar. So they have learned to play with the thickest string at the bottom and the thinnest string at the top. So unlike this guitar, which obviously <laughs> If a left-handed player bought this guitar, it would be strung. It would be right. Effectively, for, for them like this. Yep. <coughs> if we it's take so a left weird. hand, so if weird. we take a left-handed guitar and just flip it, <laughs> that's kind of how what it's like for Eric Gales to play a guitar yeah. or Doyle Bramall. Um, and they're not the only ones. I mean, so I guess probably the most famous left-handed guitar player of all time, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. He did restring his guitar, so he, you know, his thick string was on the top and his yeah. thin string was on the bottom, and that's why I think. People like Eric Gales and Doyle Bramall are—they just play licks that we that, that right-handed people can't play. This and and the chord the chord thing how how to do chords as well which yeah. I tried earlier. It's just because normally you would have your thumb. Mm. Now you have to have your thumb on on these strings to do like so. And also the the volume is the wrong way. Around. Well, that all that kind of stuff you can get rewired. And <laughs> So you do the chords, yeah. so you want to do chords with the... That is, that's the difficult bit. And then how you... But they they didn't need to unlearn how they played no, originally. No, absolutely they not. Just, this is, so for them it's just normal. Yeah. Now obviously, you know, uh, Eric Gales, he wouldn't, you know, he will just play now a, a, a guitar that's ergonomically, you know, so his left hand, he will play a left handed guitar so the knobs will be in, you know, down yeah, yeah, here. Absolutely. And, yeah. But he still strings it with the bottom string at the like the thickest string at the bottom. Yeah. So he can play crazy shit like this. I said to Pete yesterday, look, we got Eric coming over. We should do a video so that you guys uh, find out about this. And yeah. there's tickets are available below. It's not an expensive gig to attend. It's in Guildford, June the 1st, in the evening. Nice hotel, small audience. Yeah. And, and it's an actual kind of like an evening with Eric. He'll talk about some of the tales from the road and, and he's going to play some and sing. And it'll be a great night. He's a, he's a crazy he's, player. He's absolutely he's just... a crazy mofo yeah <laughs> uh, and i can't pete and i literally cannot wait to meet him as well because he he, we, he looks like a proper character as well so he should be a laugh yeah yeah um but so yesterday i gave pete this left-handed guitar and i said like can you just have a play with it overnight <laughs> and see see what it's like you know so what what is it i think it, that's, I've... that's striking you as like the, the 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 big difference to how you approach playing anything well i think once you once you got your chops down as as a as a right hand 
or as a left, what are you, a right-handed player, when you put the guitar like that, putting the guitar like this, it's not really a big thing because you just need to adjust your brain a little bit because you know where everything goes. You know what I mean? You know where everything goes. You know that you, you if you do a, a chord, you know that that's the. So if you. You know where everything is because you just turn it around in your brain. <laughs> then it doesn't take that long. <coughs> it's this that's the difficult. Oh, one. Yeah, if you I don't want to do that, it's cut. That's completely you can't because do that. your fingers yeah. are used to doing all the playing in the chords. So if you want to do your chords, and then you just have to do the the up strum is will be your down strums. It's not that. It's not. <laughs> It's not really that You're getting difficult. into it now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm getting into it. But actually, why does he sound got... different though? Because I mean, if for instance, if you're going to do a, a, a bend on on your B string, yeah, obviously you're pulling. Uh, well, no, sorry, you're pushing the string away uh, from you. Yeah. If you, you want to do a bend, you're it, pulling it towards yeah. you, aren't you? Do I you... feel actually, I feel like I they, I think these might be nines, or if they yeah, are they tens, probably are nines. But but I need probably elevens on here because I feel like I have more muscles in my fingers to. I feel like it yeah. can, I can pull it more than I could would be able to push I, I, it. I think that's just natural. You know, your hand is inevitably going to be stronger at pulling towards than pushing away. Uh, yeah. Um, and I think that's why, you know, some of the licks are different. And of course, I oh, guess with like the, the bottom strings as well, you're now you're you've got the opposite the, problem. Whereas with a with a right-handed guitar, you know, you'd pull the you are pulling yeah, them down. Then, now you're then, pushing then them. Then you have you, to so push like, them. See, it's the other, it's completely yeah. the opposite around. I'm pulling it so much yeah. there. But you still you still can't You still kinda it's it's it is natural for the brain. It just needs to you just need to adjust to it really quickly. And I, I didn't it didn't take too long. Let me just tune up here, because I do pull it out <coughs> completely out of You can, I, I can, I know where the chords are. I, I, I think one of the other reasons that, that obviously... <laughs> pulling it out of tune. I'm more... When I listen to Eric Gales over, say, Doyle Bramall, I feel like... Eric sounds more different to a right-handed guitarist than Doyle does. It's almost like Doyle yeah. has worked out how, how to do, those how to do everything despite the fact his strings are upside down, whereas Eric Gale's just, the licks are different. And I and I bet that's, you know, I, we'll find out when we meet him, but I bet he's self-taught. I bet he's literally he just, I you know, he I bet he's just kind of worked out. But, but he's got a jazzy touch, he's got yeah. a jazzy touch to him. So a lot of stuff he plays are, are kind of jazz chords, all the, you know, he does all, keep turning the right, the wrong way around. So he plays that thing. That, That, uh, we've played that a few times. He does. I can't do it on this guitar, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out quickly. Yeah. Um, but I'll never be good at him on the other way around. This is where, if you want to be really depressed, what you do is you give Pete Honoré a guitar, you flip it upside down. <laughs> And you give him five minutes to get used to it, and he's still better than you are, despite the fact you've been playing it the right way around for 25 years. <laughs> it's all of those things. Oh, come on, man. Because when you want to play this Jimmy stuff, this was one of the things I sat yesterday and thought, I want to have that ringing E note. Yeah. That is very That's difficult. It's quite hard to do. It's very difficult to do because you, you can't, you will always have a yeah. finger, you'll have your finger laying over it. So, so you. He can do all that stuff, but I just don't. Anyway, you can. It, it's we'll it's find all out, about your brain. Has to, it's quite interesting. I like it, but I like the challenge. Mm. I used to do a, a thing when I. When I would, when I studied music uh, many, many moons ago, what I would just oh, it's the other way around. <laughs> what I would do is I would put I would put uh, music on my in in my headphones yeah. in some sort of beat, and then I would practice uh, scale in another tempo completely. So having music going, so have some song going here, and then literally just play another song to get the groove, keep the groove in that 
Right, but in a different <coughs> So I'll have two different time songs signature. in two different keys in two different time signatures just to confuse myself completely. You know, the freakiest thing I ever saw like that was, and this will, drummers out there will appreciate this. I saw Pete Erskine do a clinic and he said one of the things he practiced is he goes, right hand plays one tempo, left hand then plays a different tempo, right foot plays a different tempo, left foot plays a different tempo. So he plays this thing and of course it sounds a bit like it doesn't sound terribly rhythmic or anything. It sounds but like a you, you look at it and just go, oh my God, this guy has managed to train each limb to be utterly independent. Anyway. He might just make it all up and he's just going... Probably. <laughs> I'm playing this tempo. He definitely <laughs> wasn't. He definitely wasn't. Um, but here, pentatonic. It's the, other, it's the other way around. It's very weird. It's really weird. It's it? really weird, but you can get it. That's the thing, it's, the, it's that funky bit. I'm not suggesting that right-handed guitar players should go and try and learn to play upside down. No, I, I'm just, don't do that. I'm just sort of saying, <laughs> if, if you want to hear a guitar player playing like refreshingly different licks, uh, go and check out someone like Eric Gales because uh, it, it is just, you know, it's all the same notes just played in a different order and it's weird and cool. There is this little clip here where he sits uh, and plays um, um, Jimi Hendrix he plays yeah, uh, Little, Little Wing. Wing. Have yeah. a look at this. Play. Uh, sorry, I'm... I'll get it, man. You are. I'll I get tell it. you, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. I'll get it. Um, so a little quick, uh, we'll jam out now. Um, we might swap the guitars around again. Quick <laughs> rig rundown funny. here. Uh, I've got, uh, this was Pete's ah. strap, which I bought from him the other day. Oh. I've had, uh, uh, I've got our wonderful guitar tech to replace the, the, the dots now. I've gone back to the original clay dots, changed some of the pots and switches that were getting a bit old oh. and just gave it a general setup. Oh, it's great. Oh man, it feels great to play. It is sexy um, drive. Yeah, I'm using one of the new Guru's Sexy Drive Mark II overdrive pedals, which I didn't think I would like because it's a, it's a pedal that, that splits the clean and the dirty signal into two discrete signals and then blends them back into the amplifier. Uh, and I've heard that before and didn't really like it, but I really like this. And so I've, I've just left that on the whole time into a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. And I'm very controversial on controversial. this one. Controversial! So I've got a gig on Saturday and I, uh, I wanted to try this Helix out just as a pedal board. So I'm, 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 uh, I've got a Helix where I'm running a Minotaur and a Time. <laughs> you I... It does not bad. You know, it's got a loop in it, so we can do the loops and then I'm running into the Victory V40 Deluxe. We, I mean, we did a we did a little, here you go, I'm going to just oh, yeah. chuck this out there. This was purely for fun, purely shot on my iPhone. We did the uh, Helix, sorry, we, we did, we put a, what did we put we in? Put a Clon KTR. We put a Clon KTR in the effects loop of the Helix. Yeah. And we took the Minotaur patch and tweaked the two to try and get to try and get it to sound as close to the minotaur as we could yeah i shot some video of pete playing switching between the two on my iphone and sent it to two very well known <laughs> pedal experts that we might know on another channel <laughs> and said to them you tell me which one is which and they both got it wrong so what do we all know yeah um, so but anyway and I then just they back pedaled massively but going, oh, it's probably because it's going through the effects loop of the thing and there'll be a buffer <laughs> on a digital thing <laughs> And it was just shot on my iPhone and it was just for fun. Actually, but I couldn't tell a difference. 
to be fair. So there we go. Helix is fun. Yeah. Um, and it's got the stuff <clears> that you need, and it's really simple. And we're, we're plugged into the new, which and sounds great, stupendous V40 anyway. uh, Deluxe yeah. head. Yeah. Uh, so we do another loop. See if I can yeah. do another loop. I'll do another loop. Anyway, come on. This is all annoying, do, though. All of this stuff. Mass- here, yeah. Both of our arms hurt from the knobs being <laughs> in the way. Uh, go on. You do the, do the loop on a right-handed guitar, and then we'll jam out and do the same thing we did at the beginning. Okay. Do something a bit slower, maybe. Yeah. Let's see. We just do a simple version do of it. Do as little. see Eric Gales June the 1st let's do it it's amazing let's try this out links this in the <laughs> description below or this something like that anyway, can't buy a ticket I've been the captain and I was Pete see you next time well done <laughs>